welcome back for another video. In this video we'll be looking at which players are in form in pre-season and other news including the budget players who are impressing, the tactics are used and more. It's very useful to pay attention to pre-season because there's so much you can miss which can have a bearing on your team selection. So to make it easy for you I've compiled everything into a short video with everything you need to know. Let me know if you'd like more of these as the pre-season progresses. We're going for 80k subscribers by Gimmick1 so hit subscribe to help us get there. Thanks again for all the support. Right before we jump in, I'm delighted to share that this season I've partnered up with Fantasy Football Scout. I've been a member for 5 years so it's a perfect match. The members area has essential tools such as the custom tables, season ticker, player comparison and team stats. I've actually made all of my custom tables used in my videos public as well so feel free to steal them. They're running a pre-season discount at the moment so join now with the link at the top of the description. They've got an excellent pre-season page which is free to read and I used it for this video. Click the link below to check them out. Starting with Arsenal, Nketiah scored a hat-trick against League One Ipswich Town in their first pre-season game, just before Jesus signed for Arsenal. In Arsenal's second game against Nuremberg, Jesus scored twice after coming on at half-time. His ownership has shot up off the back of an impressive debut. Martinelli has two assists in pre-season so far, nothing from Smith Rowe so far who is competing for the same spot, so good news for Martinelli owners. In Arsenal's most recent pre-season friendly, Jesus was on the score sheet again, making it three goals in two games. Saka was also on the score sheet in the 2-0 win against Everton. The Villains have played two pre-season games so far, Watkins scored in their first match in a 4-0 win against Walsall. Leon Bailey, who's only 5 mils, started both games and he has one goal and one assist, definitely one to keep an eye on. But his last pre-season game was a 1-0 win against Leeds, whereby Coutinho missed a penalty and Danny Ings scored a penalty in the second half. Not much to report in the Bournemouth camp so far, they've played one of four pre-season games which was a 2-1 win against Sheffield Wednesday. Cook and Solanke were the scorers, Christie with an assist. Bournemouth start the season home to Aston Villa but have poor fixtures beyond that. No goals for Tony in either of Brentford's pre-season games so far, but six men Bumo scored two goals, however it is worth noting that one of his goals was a penalty in a win over Boreham Wood whereby Tony was off the pitch by them. De Silva could be one to watch closely, with Eriksen signing for Man United he could yet emerge as the best 4.5 men midfielder, and he was the other scorer in the Boreham game. Brighton's first pre-season game was a goalless draw against Royal Union, the club which they signed 5.5 mil forward Undav from. Undav wasn't the score sheet in Brighton's other pre-season game versus Estoril from Portugal. Mopai also scored twice in that game in the 4-1 win. It's not clear who Potter's favourite forward will be, so the Brighton forwards are currently avoids. Chelsea have just played their first pre-season game and reassuringly Tuchel lined up with a back three, Chilwell and James both featured in wing back. James looked the lively between the two, picking up an assist but he did also score a careless own goal from a poor back pass. Post-match Tuchel remarks on new silent Koulibaly stating that he's great in a back three or four, so we're not out of the woods yet as far as Chilwell and James as a back four would reduce their attacking threat. Mason Mount scored a wonderful goal from far out and Timo Werner also on the score sheet. Crystal Palace have been busy in pre-season, already playing four games. Mateta scored in their one all draw against Akron and Stanley, however Eduard has a couple of assists too. In the goal fest against Millwall, 5.5 mil Eze was on the score sheet, assisted by Zaha. And in the most recent pre-season friendly, 4.5 mil forward Plange scored a hat-trick against League One Ipswich. Palace have poor fixtures to start the season, but with Eze, Oliz, Eduard and Mateta all coming in at 5.5 mil, there will be value there once the fixtures turn, definitely keeping an eye on all of them. Everton's first pre-season game was a 2-0 loss to Arsenal. Calvert-Lewin led the line and Lampard deployed a back three. 4 mil defender Patterson got a start in right wing back. If the youngster can prove himself this season, he may displace Coleman and to be a steal for 4 mil. Fulham have played two or four pre-season games, the first a 2-0 win against Nice. Both goals were penalties and were scored by Cabano and Wilson. On Sunday, Fulham played Benfica which ended in a 5-1 loss. Mitrovic was Fulham's scorer, but also notably Nusan and Pereira was playing just behind Mitrovic and assisted his goal from a corner kick. It could be a real gem for 4.5 mil. Leeds have played three pre-season games, Marsh using his usual 4-2-3-1 and a few informed players so far. The forgotten man Furpo and left back has one goal and one assist. Dan James and Gelhart also have one goal, one assist. Jack Harrison very involved in set plays, who comes in at 6 mil this season. One for the watch list, a couple of seasons back he scored 8 times and 10 assists for 160 points. 4.5 mil Melia made a brilliant double save, saving Coutinho's penalty and saved the follow up shot. Leicester's pre-season began with a 2-1 loss to Notts County, Barnes scoring for the Foxes, Dakar assist. Their other match was a 3-0 draw with Leuven, 5-0 midfielder Dewsbury Hall scored, Dakar and Vardy also scoring the others, Madison picked up an assist. Liverpool's pre-season began with a 4-0 loss to Man United, albeit a heavily rotated side with lots of academy and backup players starting. 
Three days later, they face Crystal Palace for the second of their six scheduled pre-season games, which was a 2-0 win. Henderson and Salah the scorers. Alexander Arnold assisted Salah, both of which are locks in my Gambit 1 draft. We'll skip over Man City, who only have three pre-season games arranged, and the first is on July 20th. All eyes will be on Haaland for that one. There will be more pre-season updates to come, so hit subscribe for more future videos. Ten Hag has lined up with a 4-2-3-1 in pre-season. In the 4-0 win against Liverpool, it was Rashford down the left and Sancho down the right, Martial through the middle, all scorers in that game. In the 4-1 win against Melbourne, Martial scored again and Rashford on the score sheet too. They lined up with nearly a full strength side for the first half before Ten Hag made changes in the second half. Five minute midfielder Elango assisted Martial's goal. United have been pressing high, Dalla is one to keep an eye on. He was very involved in the play and playing far forward and he hit the post in the Liverpool game and he was linking up well with Sancho down the right. Sancho, Rashford and Martial all in my thinking for my Gambit 1 draft. Bruno Gamaras continues to impress and in the 3-0 win against Munich he got one goal, one assist. Longstaff is the most informed player of two goals and one assist, but unlikely to be a starter in the league. Almiron and Jolinton also had a couple of goal contributions, but both are likely to be rotated. So Maxman has one assist from their two games played, and he has been reclassified as a midfielder this season on FPL. No informed players for Nottingham Forest, with two goals scored in three games. Four and a half more Dean Henderson starting in goal for them. The most recent match was a 0-0 draw against Barnsley, where 4 mil defender Nico Williams started in left wing back. As it stands, he's currently the best 4 mil defender option in the game. We'll skip over Southampton, who played one game so far, a 3-1 loss against Leipzig, Adam Armstrong the scorer. As strong as the template looks, Spurs are making it hard to overlook them. Their first preseason game was a 6-3 win against Team K-League. Notably, Sun scored twice, one assisted by Kane, and Kane too was on the score sheet. Their second game was a 1-0 draw against Sevilla, where Kane scored, assisted by Sun. So as it stands, Kane and Sun both on two goals, one assist in two games. Kane did let Sun take the penalty in the game against Team K-League, but unlikely to be an indication of what's to come this season. They were playing in South Korea, so it would have been for sentimental value more than anything. A busy pre-season for the Hammers, four games played already, but no standout in form players. Ben Rama scored in the one-all draw against Boreham Wood, but I still prefer four nails for 0.5 mil less, and he should be a little more assured for minutes. Bowen assisted the goal by Vlasic in the most recent pre-season game against Reading. And finally Wolves, who struggled for goals last season, but they have four goals and three goals from the opening two pre-season games. All seven were actually different goal scorers. Both games were played behind closed doors, so minimal information available, but Pablo Neto was among the goal scorers in the Forest Green game, and he is currently the most popular 5.5 mil midfielder in the game. That wraps up the pre-season update. Let us know if you'd like me to release more of these pre-season updates before the new season kicks off. I'll read all your comments, so drop one below, and hit subscribe for more FPL content to come all season.